Hey folks, Luke Stone here. I've had a lot of questions about how I set up a uh, comic book file in Eclipse Studio Paint EX, so I thought I would come and just uh, do a real quick tutorial, show you those settings and how I uh, uh, have my workflow set up for it. First off, we're just gonna simply create a new file, and once this uh, menu opens up, you're gonna make sure to grab the comic book page with the gear that is gonna allow us to create some custom settings and you won't be able to do this any other way. So we're going to uh, rename this as, uh, no, never mind. let's do a new comic. And you can see I'm saving this in Dropbox. And uh, down here below with my canvas size is gonna be slightly bigger than the print size, but it is 600 DPI so that we can have plenty of resolution. Now, these are the important numbers and I'll make sure to add these in the description, the width, and the bleed and the uh, border size will all get us a perfect file for printing. The next thing we're gonna do is set up for multiple pages. We normally work with 32 pages on the interior, so we're gonna set that up right now. Now you can also make this a page by page or for webtoons. We are making a print document, so we're gonna do page by page. This next feature is called the combine into two page spread. Now, I like to do this, it still keeps the uh, normal trim dimensions, but allows me to see the pages um, with the left binding and from right, just like a US comic. I would reverse that otherwise if I'm doing a Japanese comic. But this will allow me to see the comic as I would normally read it uh, if it's uh, physically in my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the cover page. You don't have to do this, but I do. Again, 600 DPI, and this will just add four more pages to the document. Now here's where you name your story and this is a little bit different than the file name but I haven't really noticed uh, too big of a difference except for um, mostly on export when I do PDFs. Most of these settings here are preferential. None of these matter as much as really that trim and bleed and then your border width. But uh, you can set these however you like and then once you're done you just simply hit Okay, now this is gonna take a minute to populate because it's building a folder that has all of these other files in it. And it's uh, doing this thing where uh, many pages that are kind of facing each other will be added together. So um, the bigger the book, the longer it takes to populate that. And here we are, uh, we're done. And so as you can see, we have all of our pages next to each other. And this is laid out just how I would read it uh, in a normal comic book. Here is the cover image, or cover file. There's no image there yet. And so um, I'll just pop that up there. And so you can see you've got the cover separate. You've got the inside cover would be separate. The first page would also be separate. Um, but pages two and three would be together. So when I'm doing my pencils, I can actually see how the art would flow for storytelling better and put that uh, page turner right at the end. So that's how I do that. Again, I'm gonna make a uh, file available for you guys to download as a template. Thanks for watching and uh, please uh, remember to subscribe.